Cav is good for one thing, manpower efficiency. Cav actually does deal decent shock damage for the most part. It is income inefficient, but if you can afford it, then it's really good for most of the game. And then it's not so good. But then, little known fact, it actually gets pretty decent in the late late game, but it depends on your tech. So for instance, Western tech has the best late game cav in the entire game, and uh, it actually is somewhat worth it, very late game, like the last cav, I think, to slap your cav back on. So, uh, you know, these level 28 cav, these are actually good cav, like these are actually decent. And Cav is actually pretty useful, like surprisingly, I know. Cav is useful because it attacks multiple targets at the same time. Infantry, well it's not just that, like cavalry attacks from the flanks uh, inward, right? It's actually ironically better if you have a smaller front line than your enemy, because then your cavalry can attack further out, uh, but then your cavalry can also get attacked, you know, uh, more concentrated from the uh, enemy infantry, and that's also not that good. But uh, if you have increased flanking range on your cav, it actually becomes decent. Like 10% cav combat, or like 15, uh, actually makes cav like decent. Most people ditch cavalry uh, for good reason, but if you have like 10 or 15%, it actually starts to make them cost effective the relative damage they do. If you're playing with something like Ottomans, do you recommend keeping 4-6 cav per stack for the whole game? Do Ottomans get cav bonus? I don't remember. They do get cav combat. Yeah, uh, it's actually not that bad. I would consider Ottomans would be a country you could keep like 2-4 to four cav for like the entire game, because the thing is, like the margin by which cavalry are worse isn't actually that large. It's like you're, you're somewhat splitting hairs whether you decide to keep cav or not. Most people don't because they are by definition just worse but by how much is not it's not amazing it's not actually that good or sorry i mean it's not that big of a difference so you know just like 15 percent calf combat and yeah, just keep your calf just keep whatever if you have the money uh they deal decent damage and you have 15 percent calf combat they're actually pretty decent like you wouldn't tell poland to remove their cavalry right it doesn't make sense because they have like ridiculous calf combat it actually makes their cavalry like really good right so 